Extreme Trends presents A woman dumps a two-year-old on a stranger's front porch, then drives away and doesn't come back. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. We have our trust in a lot of people. It is the foundation of all human connections, from chance encounters to friendships and relationships. It governs all the interactions we have with each other and how much more comfortable we feel with the other person. No one would ever sit in someone else's car or board a plane if they didn't trust the people to take their responsibilities seriously. As we grow, we learn a lot about the people we can rely on, people we can trust, but also simultaneously we keep learning about the people we should never let our trust build upon. This story is an example of how we should not trust everyone in our lives. In all the hustle and bustle, people usually care more about themselves. It's just a certain portion of people that realize the importance of their responsibility. Unfortunately, Willie Simmons' son fell into the hands of the rest of the people. On October 17th, the Montgomery Police Department received a panicked and worrisome call. The caller, as the cops felt, seemed a bit unhinged from the tone. The caller reported that they found a stranded toddler, hardly two years old, in front of their doorstep, along with two bags of clothes. Considering it as another abandoned child case, the cops rushed right into action. The cops went through the footage recorded from the camera placed at the doorstep of the caller. What was revealed was one of the vilest acts one could ever imagine, a woman caught in the blatant act. She approached the doorstep at a brisk pace and dragged the toddler along. She lifted him up as if she was carrying luggage. Unembarrassed by her disgusting portrayal of irresponsible behavior, the woman dared to smile, which covered her entire face. Throughout the time, in her other hand, she was holding the toddler's bags. The tattooed woman insanely rang the bell of the house, which was followed by a thunderous knocking on the door, which was enough to wake up the entire family inside. The shameless woman then rushed back to the road without even waiting for someone to collect the toddler, sat inside a waiting white sedan, and left leaving the confused toddler in despair. The entire footage was sickening. Thankfully, the people inside the house came out in time, preventing the toddler from wandering off the roads and endangering his life. But who was this toddler? Was he related to the caller in any way? It was later found out that the toddler was named Royal Prince Simmons. He was the son of the caller's neighbor, Willie Simmons. Apparently, the woman ended up being on the doorstep of the wrong house when Willie Simmons was given the news of this extremely unpleasant treatment of his son. He was in literal fumes. The infuriated father told Inside Edition, I am angry. I am upset. Every time I watch the video, I get more angry. Because if that was her child, she would not have left him. He continued, Just imagine if my nice neighbors weren't there. My son would have wandered into the street and got hit. Just imagine nobody would have been around. He could have just been walking. It was the neighbor's angelic effort that prevented major devastation from happening. Things could have been much worse. Who was this crazy, bare-faced, and cruel woman who left a mere two-year-old toddler in front of someone's doorstep on an empty street without even waiting to check if someone attended to the door or not? An adult with the mind of a five-year-old could only do such a thing, don't you think? Montgomery County Sheriff's Lieutenant Scott Spencer provided us the answer to this question. Royal's mother was at the hospital at that time of night. She knew she wouldn't be able to manage to drop the child at her father's place by herself, so she decided to ask someone she trusted. You see, people, it is extremely important to understand who you should let your trust build upon. Royal's mother failed to do so, and that could have resulted in something unimaginable. She asked a friend to drop the child to his dad's place. She entrusted her with her own kin. However, little did she know about the betrayal of trust that was about to untangle. The friend was so careless that she did not even understand the address properly, which led her to the wrong doorstep. Even that confusion would have been easily sorted out if she had just waited with the child. But, well, the woman was in a lot of hurry and she probably expected the toddler to take care of himself. Disappointing. The cops are now trying to track down the woman. She is expected to be charged with felony child endangerment, where a person engages in conduct that places a child in imminent danger of death, bodily injury, or physical or mental impairment. We hope she gets caught and faces the music soon. Well, we believe that Royal's mother has learned her lesson and can now remove this woman from her trustworthy people list. This story gives us two important lessons. Lesson number one, carefully pick the people you can trust because not everyone understands the gravity of the word. Lesson number two, no matter how clever and deceiving you are, if you are a person with some wrong intentions, you will one day get caught and will have to face the consequences. So better be careful. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys soon with some new heartwarming and inspiring stories. Tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing story. Goodbye.